Mac Method Gang. Today we're going to be talking about how to become him. How do you become the alter ego? How to become your alter ego that you have that you're scared to show, right? What is an alter ego? The first thing we got to answer is what is an alter ego? An alter ego is a second identity that you have that you want to have, but you're stuck in your your identity that you made out to your peers, the people around you. So you're scared to express yourself. So an alter ego is like a superhero, like a Batman, Nightwing, Superman, all these people that are crazy good. They're everything you want to become, right? That's your alter ego. We want to become that. We want to become him. So we need to express this alter ego. How do you express this alter ego? Usually this alter ego has his things together. Everything's in order. He's probably fit. He's probably jacked. You know what I mean? He actually cares about himself. He does what he says he's going to do. He has goals. He has tasks. He has a purpose. He has a mission. He's driven. That's what your alter ego is. Your current identity doesn't do that. Your current identity falls into habits that does the complete opposite of what your alter ego would do. And you want to do this, but time and time again, you fall out of it. Time and time again, you revert back. It's because you're trapped, you're chained. That's why I always talk about being unchained. People are chained to their self-limiting beliefs. People are chained to the people they grew up with, the peers. The people, how they perceive you is how you think you need to be like. When in reality, we can change our identities anytime we want. We can become him, become the alter ego anytime we want. It just takes time. It takes steps to actually become that alter ego, right? And it's a good thing. You want to be the alter ego because the alter ego is the hyper successful guy. The alter ego is the person you actually want to be. The alter ego is living the life that you want to live. So we need to become that person. So how do we become that person? First things first is you need a goal. You need a purpose. You need to be driven. You need a vision. You need to visualize what you want your life to be. Everything your alter ego wants is what you want, right? So what is your vision? What is your purpose? What is your goal? You got to figure out how you want to see your life. I How I want to see my life. I visualize everything. I visualize how I want to see my life. I have goals on how I want to see my life. So you should have some too. You need to write them down. Don't just say them. You need to actually write it down. Write down every goal you want. What car you want to drive. What house you want to be in. Where you want to live. How you want to live. Your relationships. How do you want to be with your friends and family. How you actually want to be as a person. How you want to... Everything needs to be visualized and written down. Once you have it written down, now comes the steps. You can't just write and visualize and write these goals and write all this stuff and have no system. It's not going to work. You're going to keep staying the same. It's not going to work. You're going to keep staying the same. We want to change our identity. We want to become the alter ego. What would the alter ego do? All these steps. So what are the steps? So now you found your goal. Now you found your vision. Now you found the goals you want to make. A simple goal. I want to become ripped. What are the steps to becoming ripped? I need to go to the gym. That's step one. I need to eat better. That's step two. If I want to take my, my progress further, I need to track my calories. That's step three. Now I need to know how to progressive overload. Step four. Step four. You all Everything is based. Everything is broken down. You need to break everything down. Every goal you have. Every anything. And on any facet how you wanna improve your looks, how you wanna improve your relationships, how you wanna improve your mindset, how you wanna improve your physique, how do you wanna improve your business, how do you wanna improve your communication skills, how do you wanna improve everything? You need to break it down on the steps you're going to take because then when you break down the steps, you can actually follow through. If I just write down, I wanna have a six pack, I wanna have a Lambo, I wanna have, but that's all I put, I don't have a direction. I have the goal, I have the destination, but I don't have the pathway, I don't have the GPS to get there. I'm never going to get there. So that's number, you got it. You have to write your system. You have to write the steps you're going to take. So now you have the steps. Now you got to actually do them. You got to have conviction in what you say. You say you're going to do something. You have to do it. You can't just say, oh, I'm going to start this. I'm going to start that. And you keep telling everyone and telling, telling yourself lies because you never do what you say you're going to do. You need to start small. You have to have big dreams, big goals big visions, but you need steps in order to get to that step. You're not going to go from, you never, you're not going to run before you crawl. You have to build up to that big vision. So you build up by creating habits. You have to create a routine. You have to create habits. Once you create habits and routines, it becomes natural. Everything becomes systemized. Everything becomes 
this is what you do now because your old habits your habits currently suck that's why you're in the position you're in because they suck that's why i was in the position i was in for so long because they suck they sucked my habits were horrible if you watched my video on how i gained 25 pounds of muscle improved my looks and i got an unbreakable mindset you saw my habits if you haven't watched the video go watch it i'm not really going to go into it because i explained everything in that 50 minute video but my habits were horrible I didn't have no morning routine. I didn't have anything. I play the game all day. You know what I mean? Etc. What people do currently, what you're probably doing right now. Once I actually started getting my morning routine right, getting real habits, getting things I'm going to stick to that I can accomplish and wake up conquering every day from simple tasks, it reinforces your mind. It builds a discipline and it builds a mindset. It does. It's simple as that. It does. So now you can move on to bigger things bigger things you're not going to stay doing small little things but even when you do the small little things they compound they compound they get big bigger and then you're able to you're able to achieve bigger things you're able to achieve higher goals you're able to actually accomplish things because you're doing what you say you're going to do you're starting to build up confidence you're starting to actually see results because chances are you're going to be working on multiple things at once you're not going to just be working on for example you're not going to be just working on your body only, but now your but now your look. You're going to be working on both. So there's three. That's why I talk about the three pillars of man that I created: mindset, body, and look. You're going to be working on all three simultaneously. You're going to get your goal. You're going to achieve what you want to achieve. So that's the steps to take to become your alter ego. And another thing too, you need to stop caring about what people think. That's the biggest thing that's holding you back and keeping you changed to yourself to your image right now, to your identity right now, is because you care so much about what people think. You care so much about what people think about you. You're not your identity anymore. You're not what people, people perceive you a certain way, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to be that certain way. And that doesn't mean you have to be a complete lie, or, you know what I mean? Faking who you are, no. It's just becoming who you wanna be. And sometimes who you wanna be doesn't align with what other people want you to be. It's simple as that. But at the end of the day, it's not their life, it's yours. So you have to do what you got to do to make your life the way you want it. That's not a bad thing. How is that a bad thing? You want your life to be a certain way. You got to do things that will get your life to that way. You want to be ripped, you probably should be hanging around people that are jacked, people that work out. You need to start doing that. You want to be rich, you probably should hang around people that are rich. You probably should be getting mentored by people that have money because they have the money. It's not rocket science. You just have to work at it. it. It's not necessarily hard. It's just you're so stuck on your old ways that it seems hard because you're so used to your crappy routine. But at the same time, you watch all these self-improvement videos and you watch all these things, but you take no steps. You take no action. Action equals progress. Without action, there's no progress. Without progress, there's nothing. Because you're stagnant, you're stuck, flatlined. You need to actually do the work. You need to have a routine, you need to have a schedule, you need to have everything planned out. At the best of your abilities, that's the only way you can accomplish things. And another thing too, you need to try your best on everything you do, for the most part, because that's going to create the standard. When you try hard, when you try and you go after it and you have the mentality of this is how I'm going to do it, I don't care how long it takes, I don't care what I have to do, I don't care. It's going to get done and I'm going to do it then things will change for you because your standards are becoming higher. You're holding yourself to a higher standard, the standard that your alter ego is at. That alter ego is top notch. He's top tier in everything. He's he's the alter ego. He's him. You want to be him. You want to be him. And now I'm not saying this is going to happen overnight. I'm not there yet, but I'm working towards it every day. Nowhere near the frack, you know, how... I'm nowhere near to what my alter ego is at the version of him that I want to be. I'm nowhere near it, but I'm working towards it. And I can tell you, I made leaps and bounds from where I was before to now. You've seen my video before. If you haven't watched it again, I advise you to watch that video. Free game. That video is full of free game, free gems. Free... You can just watch that video and hey, but you do what you want to do, right? That's it. There's not really a lot of steps. It's just keeping your word visualizing having the steps to take and actually i missed actually i missed a very important step i said there's not really a lot of steps but there's one more step i didn't miss i didn't get to it but you need to have faith 
You need to have faith. You need to have faith. That's actually the most important thing. Before anything, you just need to have faith because you need to be able to know you're going to be doing something without seeing the results first. Without You need to believe in yourself. Oh, but I can't. I, I never did anything. How can I believe in myself? I have no evidence to prove it. That's true. How do you believe in yourself when you have no evidence to prove it and you have no habits that showed when you have nothing and you're just starting from ground zero? You don't have anything. I'll tell you how. You need to believe in a higher power. You need to believe in God. You need to believe in Jesus Christ or whatever you align with. That's who I believe in. That's the way I get my faith from. I didn't have this you guys got to see that I started from zero, literal zero. You know what I mean? Cystic acne, skinny twig, no discipline or mindset. Didn't work out. Ate junk food all day. You know what I mean? Addicted to watching, I can't say it, but corn. No eating garbage, playing video games 16 hours a day, 18 hours a day. No lie. I got paid for that. No, didn't socialize. Had barely any friends. One, I'm not saying you got to have a lot of friends, but you know what I mean? Even the friends I did have barely hung out with them. Maybe one friend, and we only connect playing the games. Playing games, that was it. Oh, nothing to elevate your life, that's it. So how am I going to have confidence when I started from literal zero? Teeth messed up too. Everything you can think of starting at zero, I started from zero, bro. On, on every facet. But I had to believe in something. I had to get my faith. That's where I got my faith from. That's what actually started my journey is God. Because I, I believed in something bigger than myself. You got to be humbled. You got to know that you're not the only person that is controlling your life. You're doing the steps. You're taking the, the actions to actually change your life. Yes. But there's there's a there's a higher power. A hundred percent. And that's where you get your strength from. So when I fall down and I and I don't believe in myself anymore, who do you think I turn to? I can't turn to myself anymore. I don't believe in him. So who do you think I went to? Yeah. I went, love, I prayed, pray every morning, go to church every Sunday, read the Bible, because these are things that are going to keep you going. You need to have faith, man. I know this video is off the wall. It's kind of not random, but it, I just wanted to make this video because it's time to level up. It's time to level up. It's time to become your alter ego. And if you want to become your alter ego, book a call with me. Get in my program. If you don't need to, don't. If you don't want to pay, don't. Watch these videos for free. Watch other self-improvement for free. But if you want a guide, step-by-step -step guide, how I dense everything down that I learned from six years into one plan, book a call. Get in with the program. It's simple as that. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for the support recently. I really appreciate it. Comment down below, Unchained, if you made it to the end of this video. And I wish you guys the best. We're all going towards our goals. We're all crushing it. We are becoming our alter egos. I know I am. So catch up. Don't stay behind, man. Don't live life on autopilot, bro. That's what I was doing. I'll see you guys in the next video.